welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial. The guitar chord lesson you have never seen. In this lesson, I'm going to show you something about guitar chord relationships that you will not find in a book or hear about from most guitar teachers. The guitar is tuned standard E, A, D, G, B, E. Most of you are familiar with the three chords in the key of A major. A major, D major, and E major. Those are the one, four, and five chords of the key. What we will do is move the entire chord progression up the neck of the guitar and see what happens. We'll strum the E chord from the low E string. We'll strum the A chord from the A string. And we'll strum the D chord from the D string. Next, we'll move the chords up by one fret and see what happens. Let's start with our A chord or the key chord. We'll strum the A chord from the A string and get A major. When we raise that chord by one fret, we'll get A suspended four, flat six, flat nine. Now what's interesting is if we go to the D chord and raise it by one fret and play it from the D string, we get D suspended four, flat six, flat nine. If we do the same thing with the E chord, raise it by one fret, we get E suspended four flat six, flat nine. In other words, when we raised any one of those chords, the name of the chord did not change, only the root note changed. We can do this again by going to fret four and playing an A chord, starting from the A string. We have A6 suspended to sharp 11. If we play the D string at the same fret, we get D suspended to sharp 11. If we play the E chord at the same fret, we get E6 suspended to sharp 11, which is amazing to me. If we move to fret five and play the A chord, we'll get an A minor seven playing from the A string. If we play the D chord at fret five, we get a D minor seven. And if we play the E chord at fret five, we get an E minor seven. Now this works all the way up to the fifth fret. Once you get past the fifth fret, the chords start to vary. So if we want to use these forms and play a major sound, we'll play A, D, and E. If we want a minor sound, we'll play the chords at fret five. If we want something that's kind of weird, we'll go to fret four and play the chords. And if we want something horrifying, we'll go to fret three. And that, my friends, is the guitar chord lesson that you have never seen. 
Until now. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.